Alright, hello. Um, yeah. This is actually my second crack at recording this because, uh, first time I tried recording this, I couldn't really upload it. It, it started to get a little bit out of hand. Also, really, carnivore. Uh, they would make her look incredibly slutty, but there you go. Anyway, I was gonna have a rant about, uh, um, fucking Tales of Symphonia, like the remastered edition, because a lot of it actually kind of pissed me off. Um, I mean, it's a really good game, it's fantastic, I watched an LP of it, and I, I adored it, but I don't feel like their heart was in it. I mean, Namco Bandai kind of hailed it as, you know, the anniversary thing for Tales, and it never really seemed to get, um, I don't know, kind of the respect that it should have gotten, because they just sort of did a straight port of Tales of Symphonia and the sequel, and they didn't add anything to it. And it's just like, great, you did, this is pointless, what, why did you try? So, it kind of frustrated me a bit, but I suppose it is actually April Fool's Day, and I suppose I should, probably should, you know, talk about pranks, because that's kind of what April Fool's Day is about, really. Um, uh, so yeah, I phew, don't quite know how to go about this. Also, I like that scun tank animation, that is sick, that is fucking awesome. Uh, anyway, uh, the reason this is the second crack recording is, is like I say, the, when I tried telling the story the first time, I worded it incredibly poorly. Um, so yeah, I will try wording it slightly better this time. And um, I will say beforehand, uh, d don't do, or don't try and copy the prank that I'm about to tell you. Like, don't. Just don't even go there. It was incredibly cruel. It was incredibly mean, and looking back on it now, it's actually a form of cyberbullying, and fuck you, Skuntank, you're a bastard. Ah, oh, you see, uh, now I'm trying to think about it, now I'm just making bad moves. He might be banded, actually. Uh, oh, he's got Pursuit. Ooh, ah, ugh. Okay, I thought he'd be banded, but he's not. This isn't going well at all, actually. This is just not going well. Whatever, don't care. I'm gonna tell my story and I'm not fast at how poorly I play because, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna try and word this slightly better. And, yeah. And, like I say, don't, don't copy the prank I'm about to tell you because in the end it didn't really become a prank and it actually became a form of cyberbullying. And you might think, oh, cyberbullying, oh, pfft, just turn your computer or your phone off. Like, cyberbullying can actually get really, really bad. And it's not something that should be, uh, you know, uh, copy or you know taken lightly cyberbullying can actually be very bad so just pointing that out just pointing that out so if you copy it I, I told you not to I told you I told you anyway I will tell I will recount this story this painful horrible story for all of you Anyway, I, I will I will pick characters for this story, ones that are easily remembered. So, uh, I know these guys are chatting away in the comments, fair enough. Anyway, um, we will have the tale of Munchlax, Vollaby, Houndour, um, yeah, actually, no, no, those three will do, those three will do. But we'll also give passing reference to Hone Edge. We'll give passing reference to Hone Edge. Oh, this scun tank is fucking odd. Um... Ah, anyway, um, it is a story about, uh, those three, and, uh, yeah, this is just going poorly now. Ugh. Oh, thank you, Munchlax. You're a bit of a beast. Anyway, Munchlax was, uh, well, Munchlax, Volaby, and Houndour, and Hone Edge were friends who went to the same school. Uh, uh they, uh, they all got on reasonably well, um, but Munchlax was the kind of guy that, uh, he he was incredibly smart, blow. You know, he, everyone kind of liked him. Well, not everyone kind of liked him. He was, I suppose, he was considered a bit of a nerd in school. But he was the kind of guy that um, kind of wanted to be accepted. And I, I now I can kind of understand that. It's fair enough. But um, yeah, one of his little things, which I don't know, maybe he actually just really liked 
women, but whatever. One of his little things that he'd do is he'd tend to walk down the street and look at women and ogle the shit out of them. Like, he'd be like, oh, cool, look at her, hasn't she got really nice tits? Or, oh, cool, look at her, she's got an amazing ass. That, that kind of person. You know, like, proper pervy person. That should generally be frowned upon because it's kind of disgraceful. Um, yeah, so that's the kind of person he was, you know. He couldn't stop you know, ogling people for 20 seconds, he just did it. And it kind of got frustrating. And eventually, uh, Munchlax, Houndour, and Hornedge got really angry at this, because it got, it got kind of frustrating. Like, if he was just himself, that'd be great, that'd be fine, that'd be grand. But he never was. He just kept ogling women and trying to talk about things to make himself seem cool. Uh, they were all 15 at the time. Yeah, so, uh, again, it's just, I suppose it's part of growing up, you, you ogle women, but whatever. It just seems kind of, it gets a bit frustrating after a while. So they were like, you know what, we're going to teach him a lesson. We're going to see how desperate he really is. So, um, they, uh, you know, uh, uh, oh yeah, it's Munchlax Houndour went over to Hone Edge's house because it was half term, so they all had time off school. And they, uh, they hatched a cunning plot. They really did. And their cunning plot was to see how far they could take his woman obsession. And, uh, as it turns out, quite far. So what Munchlax and Houndour did was they set up a uh, an MSN account and posed as a lady. And they started talking to him, and they wanted to see, you know, kind of how far he would go and how, far, how much he believed. They had already tried this with another guy from uh, Houndour's, oh no, wait, no, it's Bollaby School. And the guy twigged in the space about an hour that this was quite obviously, you know, someone fishing. And they was like, yeah, fuck off, please. And so they, uh, you know, Vullaby and Houndour did. Um, so, they, they, like I say, they tried it on Munchlax. And um, Munchlax actually fell for it. And they started chatting and uh, they all sort of got on. They, they, you know, they got on abnormally well. And we were thinking, okay, there's, there's going to be a cutoff point in here somewhere. Eventually... Munchlax is going to twig, and then, you know, it'll come tumbling down, and then they'll scarper, and it'll be fine, and no one will know, no one will be the wiser. But it didn't, actually. They kept carrying on talking, and uh, things started to get rather intimate. You know, uh, Munchlax started uh, asking Volubee, like, oh, you know, what what are you what are you wearing, and things like that. Started to get a bit weird. It's sort of like, alright, mate, calm down, you know. You're 15, you know, steady on there. But no, he, he he kept carrying on. So like, okay, we'll, we'll see how far we're going to take this then. And um, you know, he just sort of kept going forward, and then eventually, um, you know, he started to get a bit like even more intimate. Started talking about stuff, and it's getting a bit crazy. And so Volaby made um a Facebook account. Of course, just lifted the pictures from um, uh, Google. Of course, you know, not actually going to use any real pictures of real ladies, just lifted them straight from Google, like legit, like the first page if you type in like, hot women or something that was it um, apparently it didn't seem to phase Munchlax, Munchlax was completely convinced that this person was completely real <laughs> it was getting a bit strange but like I say, carried on, for fuck it we're, we're, we're in this gig now, oh my god they look fucking adorable Ah. Oh. Yeah, they, they, they started, they were in this gig now, they figured, fuck it, we're going to carry this on, we're going to see how far we can take this. And so, um, you know, it was going going quite well, and then Munchlax started asking, like, oh, you know, where do you live, and, you know, may, maybe we can meet up or something, so, like, stuff like that. And then, uh, eventually, like, to keep this train going, Volaby gave Munchlax his phone number. Again, still posing as a woman here. And, um... You know, it it kept carrying on from there. Was thinking there is no end to this. How has this guy not fit? How has Munchlax not figured this out yet? You know, how, wh where is the bottom of this barrel? It, surely there's got to be some point where he is going to twig and think, "Hang on a minute, I'm being duped here." But no, this kept on carrying on, and eventually, because they traded phone numbers, started actually sending pictures to each other. Like, actual pictures. I mean, of course, Vallaby didn't send any pictures, because why? He just, again, lifted more pictures off of Google. Again, this kept just making him carry on and believe it. And then, the pinnacle. Munchlax sent very, very, very 
intimate pictures. Ludicrous the intimate pictures as it turns out. <laughs> like, pictures that you should never ever send someone ever. Like, even if you're, you know, like boyfriend and girlfriend, like anyone with a brain would not send pictures of said body parts. But he did. And it was getting a bit weird. But he did. And yeah. And so, in the pinnacle of this, after all this, like I say, after two days of chatting, two days, Munchlax had already gotten to the point where he was quite frankly very prepared to send naked pictures to Vullaby and Houndour. With just like, what? <laughs> so, okay then. So, okay, yeah, he had, had these naked pictures, and the final, the, the coup de grace, if you will, to finish this off. Why have you got it to a bogus? Alright then. Was that he posted the pictures on Facebook and linked Munchlax in them quite a lot. And that was the end of that. And again, you can see why it goes into cyberbullying now, because it really is cyberbullying. And, um, yeah, I'll admit, when I was 15, it made me laugh, made me howl like a monkey at the time, because, like, how could anyone be so colossally fucking stupid? Like, just. You would literally, like... Oh, I mean, when the internet was first around, fine. Alright. That's fair enough. Is this guy in a silver vest of Moongus? Might well be. When the internet was first around, fine, alright? People were going to make dumb things like that. Why am I going sleep talk? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I already thought I was asleep. But, so yeah. But now, in this day and age, like I say, you're only 15 at the time. It was, what, five years ago? It's just sort of like... Ugh. But okay, whatever. But like I say, it just like it's unbelievable that he fell for it. Like I say, that that was the prank getting out of hand. Like should have really just deleted the naked pictures and just ended it there because it had gone too far by that point. Just way, way too far. It was like, no, this is done now. Let's just stop. Let's let him keep his dignity and walk away. But no, we we they posted the pictures of Munchlax and that was that. And um. So yeah, I suppose it probably worked well. It, it, I, I suppose I probably explained it in the best way that I could without putting any implications on people because, it, like I say, it was a very cruel and extremely mean and disgusting thing to do. But it was done, and I hope none of you copy. If, if I ever hear whiff of people copying said prank, I'll be very disappointed. I will be very disappointed. But yeah, that's what happened five long years ago. Ah, uh, dear. And if you're wondering, if you stop right there, uh, I'm not Munchlax. It's alright, I'm not Munchlax. This is another guy. I was very desperate for attention, but I was certainly not that desperate. So yeah, that's kind of the prank. I don't know. Do any of you guys have any pranks that you've heard about or maybe participated in? you know, that you're prepared to share. You don't have to say how you participated in. You could always do what I did and just try and make, you know, just tell it in a different context. There's no shame in that, but yeah. I wouldn't do it in this day... Well, I don't... I would hope no one would do it in this day and age. Oh, yeah, he is definitely a salt vest. Shit. Because, uh, yeah, that, that is a form of cyberbullying now, and it actually is a pretty, pretty serious deal, yo. Uh, but it was a thing that happened. Yeah, there's pretty much no, no, nothing further than that. I just, I felt the need to tell you the story. I mean, I have to say, I'm not a particularly big April Fool's Day person. Because, I don't know, it's just not quite my bag. But, um, I don't know, why would you do that? That was very obvious. But thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, there you go. So that is probably the worst prank I've heard of, ever. Because, um, yeah. It's just fucking brutal. And again, you know, when I was 15, I found it absolutely fucking hysterical. Just could not understand how someone could be so biblically stupid, but they were. So there you go. It's done now. But still, I suppose the moral of this story is don't be a cruel and evil bastard. And again, I'm not going to say... I, I, I will say it right now. I was not Munchlax. I was not Volaby. I was not Houndout. And I was not 
uh, Tyrone Edge. I was not involved in this. I had nothing to do with this. I'm very glad for that. But, yeah, it's just... It was fucking, fucking brutal. It really was. Now, from what I heard, Munchlax actually came out of it alright. Although he got a fair few uh, just weird, weird, weird looks. But, hey, he's in uni now. I don't know why I did that. Whatever. I'm just not really paying attention to the battle anymore. It's just kind of done. <laughs> oh, fuck, Flaginda's dead, isn't he? Eh, well, I'm boring then. I don't know. But yeah, if you have any, like, real, like, pranks that have just gone wrong, or pranks that were just incredibly hilarious, but also incredibly mean, by all means, leave them in the comments. Oh, dear. I know. So, yeah, just... Yeah, <laughs> If you're going to play a prank on someone, fine. Although I suppose it's a bit late to be giving this advice now. But if you're going to play a prank on someone, by all means, you know, it can be a bit of bit of cheeky fun. But <laughs> exercise some thought. I'll put it to you that way. It might be funny for you, but it probably wasn't funny for whoever the fuck had to be on the receiving end of it. So yeah, that's my ser service thing for the day. I hope I told that in a way where it still at least sounded kind of funny up until the point where it just went wrong. Because it was. It really was. Like Again, you, you, even if you're 15, I don't understand how you do that. Like, there's no feasible way in my mind that you can come to that and it makes sense in your head. So yeah, don't, don't trust the internet. <laughs> it's another good one. It's another really good one. But yeah, anyway, so don't, don't ever copy that. If I ever catch people copying that, I'll be really, very, very, very cross. Because it's fucking mean and horrible. But again, I'd hope enough people on the internet are at least educated enough not to fall for something so blitheringly stupid. You know, I'd, I'd like to believe we're better than what the government thinks we are, you know. Especially in this country, the government seems to think that Facebook is the Antichrist because all of their, you know, all, all government official kids, what they're going to do is they're just going to post their junk on it. Like, that's all the government thinks. Which, they might not be wrong, but... <laughs> I'd, like, I'd at least like to have a little more faith in, you know, in people. To believe that they're smarter than that. But hey, whatever. We all do stupid things, especially when we're young. But yeah, I'll probably shut up now. Because, uh, I don't know, otherwise I'll start rambling on and saying some things I don't really want to keep in this commentary again. Oh uh, dear. Yeah, that took me two takes to get that one down, in a way that seemed reasonable, and in a way that just... I don't know, whatever, fuck it. So yeah, if you have any pranks that were absolutely fucking brutal, that you've heard about, or participated in, but you don't want to admit you participated in them, by all means. But, yeah. Don't ever copy the, to the tale of Munchlax. Don't ever be Munchlax. Be yourself. Don't try and be cool and stuff. Just be you and be happy with being you. And if someone random approaches you on the internet and says, Hey, do you want to chat? And then after two days start sending you selfies, just no and take it with a ginormous mound of salt. Anyway, I hope you have had at least a reasonably uneventful April Fool's Day. And, um... Yeah, I uh, I hope you enjoyed for whatever it's worth. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.